Okay, truck drivers, again, this is El Eric with the uh, 2012 Freightliner Cascadia. I'm gonna show you real quick how do you change the, um, the heater core, which is this part. It's really simple. Okay, so you take this plastic off, okay? I'm not gonna show you how to take it off because if you can't take this plastic off and then just forget it take it to the mechanic okay so once you take that cover uh, this is the original part that was right here okay so all you need to do if it's the first time you um, change this heater core um, you have to cut it all around the um, edge okay you cut it with the I don't know box cutter or something um, well right now it's already inside but it's really simple okay once you take this part out um, you're gonna see this part like this okay inside there I, I, I already put the new cover the new cover when you buy this it's about 90 something dollars when you buy this it comes with this plastic and with uh, four screws one two somewhere there three and then uh well there four and then a little seal that you have to put around this box but it's inside the little seal it's inside okay so once you cut the plastic off um, all you need to do is go outside okay now we are uh, by the engine this is the two lines one line goes in and one line goes out okay uh, if you follow the lines I think the one on top uh, it's the one yeah it's the one to that brings the water inside that line you see goes right in there and then this one brings the water out but the one bringing the water inside has a valve so you can close it but the one bringing the water outside doesn't have any valve so you can put a clamp on the hose just to hold the water or um, once you disconnect it from here you can put it up and you know gravity the water won't go out if you put the hose like up okay but if not just put a clamp there I mean uh, um, I don't know how do you call that too uh, but something to hold the water okay so once you take that the two clamps out um, and then you take the two hoses out um, and then you pull the heater core from inside okay so once these hose are not there uh, you pull the heater it's gonna be a little bit hard because it has that rubber you know around that black rubber and that little thing like a V but you pull it hard and it's gonna come out uh, just don't do it when the water is hot because you're gonna have uh, an accident okay so uh, let me go back inside okay so once you take those two hoses the one I told you this part like this okay it's gonna be like this uh, one hose it's a uh, uh, 5 8 and this one it's um, three quarters the size of the hose okay so as you can see this out oh, this one brings the water oh so that means this is like this yeah remember I told you the one on top is the one that brings the water in the three quarters hose and the 5 8 is the one that brings the water outside so this is like like this right but inside okay once you take those two hoses out and then you pull it little by little pull it pull it and it's gonna be a little bit hard because I didn't take the whole plastic off because it came out like right here really close and you pull it pull it pull it and then it comes out and then you get the new one and then you push it in push it in and once once it's inside and then you put this cover with the screws because once you when you put the hoses you're gonna push it and if you don't put this cover this thing is gonna be going back so you put them in you put this cover put the screws 
uh, with the, uh, I think it's a T20. I believe it's a T20. Uh, you know, like that, like a little star screw. Um, once you put that cover and the seal, and then you put the hoses. So once you push it, it won't go this way, right? Uh, and then you put the clamps, and that's it. It's really simple. Not that hard to do it. This part, it's about 90 something dollars uh, at the dealer. And then you put all the covers. And this happens because um, um, it was um, um, steam coming out of the uh, air vents, these little parts. And I, and I thought that it was only water, but it smells like uh, antifreeze. So I opened it and it was, it was leaking from this corner was dropping water and I didn't see it I only saw the steam or the smoke but it was leaking here because remember this is hot water once it's leaking and the air comes here and push the uh, go through through these vents and becomes hot when you put the heater so it was leaking from here uh, and I didn't see it but I saw the smoke and that's why I opened it and I saw that it was leaking so I changed it and now it's good so for all those truck drivers that like to do it yourself uh, it's a pleasure and thank you very much for watching this video it's this is for a 2012 Freightliner Cascadia I don't know about other uh, models but this is a 12 Cascadia okay Bye-bye.